me. Let's go. All right, I'm about to use I'm about to use this thing so we can take it. Actually, oh, Snapple Dapple, dude, I didn't see that guy. There it is. Oh, yeah, feels good. Oh, baby, double kill. Woo. Woo. Pop it off, man. Do it. Stand up. Hey, what's going on, friends and family? My name is Skylint, and today I'm going to give you my first look here. Not a review, just me going over the features, playing some games, and having some fun here of a game called Iron Sight. This is a boots-on-the-ground modern military shooter. First-person shooter, that is. Yes, okay, I, I know. I'm, I'm dancing around it. It's a Call of Duty clone, and honestly, it's owning up to that name and maybe doing a little bit better, maybe a little bit more, and I think that in terms of the whole Call of Duty likeness, it actually maybe does it a little bit better than Call of Duty does, at least on PC. So if you're a PC shooter player, and you've kind of steered away from Call of Duty? Well, here you go. This is the clone that might go a little bit above and beyond, especially for us. So guys, get hyped, keep it alive. Let's jump into Iron Sight. All right, guys, jumping into the game, I'm just gonna go through some quick little things here, just so you guys know how serious of a game this seems to be. Immediately, a lot of you guys are gonna overlook this, but oh my god, my first game was garbage until I did this. Please go into your options. You should be doing this for any competitive game. Go into your options, go into the video settings, especially for a first person shooter where your perspective matters. You need to be setting your resolution to your appropriate resolution. Set it to the right frame rate. Okay, get that stuff. I'm glad that we have these options and it's got full options. Next, field of view. I think default, it's like freaking low. Put it put it to 90. I don't care what you think looks good. Put it to 90, you're gonna play better. Um, but I wish it did go to 100. 100 is really good, but 90 is fantastic. I think a lot of PC Call of Duties, uh, at least from, from previous generations, were like 70. Oh my god, that's bad. No. Um, this is a Call of Duty style game, though, so keep that in mind. Uh, so, you know, if you want to play with a controller, sure, gimp yourself like that, but I think the game is also meant with PC in mind, and it is free to play, keep that in mind. So, uh, turn off motion blur, turn off, um, distortion, and then, yeah, keep everything else, I guess, if you want to, sure, why not? Um, but we do have a nice little options menu here that's very important, overlooked a lot of times in first looks in this game, since it's trying to be a serious Call of Duty-like contender on PC, wanted to throw that out. It's not just a clone, uh, which I think everyone's saying that. It, you know, it's, it's not just a clone, Sky, and I know, it, it is a clone, but it's not just a clone. Okay, so anyways, we're jumping into a game here immediately. It is a three, uh, well, yeah, we, you, I think normally you're going to find a lobby starting at 3v3, but it does go up to 6v6. Uh, so you start, you know, you, you start, you play through these lobbies. I don't know how ranked is. I don't know if ranked is 3v3 with 6v6, but um, yeah, you start a lobby. Don't worry if you don't get a full game. Um, it happens pretty soon. It's, it just came open beta, I believe so. Um, you do have customizations loadout and stuff. We're going to look through that. It's going to be a longer winded uh, first look. Don't worry, guys. I'm just kind of doing this raw so you guys get my raw impressions and things. I did play a few matches, though, already. But I'm coming at this from the perspective of, yes, I did play competitively Halo, Gears of War, not Call of Duty. I didn't quite enjoy that, but a lot of people did, and it is a very competitive game. Um, but I did I did played Call of Duty, uh, just not at a competitive level. But also, I come from an arena shooter background with PC as well. So we're going to start with this loadout and just try it out. And so my perspective is, I can see the beauty in both worlds, but frankly, we haven't had a really good modern military shooter on PC that wasn't just like, you know, Battlefield or something. Um, this is a proper PC Call of Duty-like, and I just got wrecked because of recoil. Recoil matters, guys. <laughs> recoil, stuff like that, uh, all the little stats and things that you love whenever you're building loadouts. Man, that is, um, that's gonna be important. So look out, oh, we're getting shot from behind in our booty. There we go. We got to get out of here. Oh my god, we got to get out. Oh, Jesus Christ, we got to get out of here. Holy crap. Okay, anyways, that just killed me. Environmentals. That's going to be a thing that this game has, which Call of Duty generally doesn't. Some maps, Black Ops kind of. Um, And yeah, actually, I think the mentality of this game is that it's designed like Black Ops. Oh, I thought he was just laying down. I thought he went prone. You can't go prone in this game. And there's a grenade on me, but I'm going to try to get a kill while I die. Um, Yeah, I knew I was in their spawn nest. Yes, Call of Duty spawns. That's going to be a thing. As you can see, Call of Duty UI, Call of Duty gameplay, Call of Duty... Um, everything, but slight tweaks to the formula to make it work for PC and kind of make it go a little bit above and beyond like you just saw with the environmental, um, with the way the game uh, kind of operates um, in terms of its like netcode, it seems. De oh yeah, so it's not peer-to-peer. -peer. It does have dedicated servers. Pretty good stuff. If you guys didn't see the Battle Nonsense video, I enjoyed it. Oh shit. Okay. Yes. Um, so <laughs> blind firing or not blind firing, but, um, you know, not scoped in fire is pretty inaccurate with a lot of guns. So, yep, very similar to Call of Duty. You got to have that tactical decision. If you come from like a quake background, it's going to feel disjointed. It's going to feel weird. Oh, my God. The recoil is so freaking real right now. Holy crap. Ow. Am I oh, oh, what the hell? Nobody can shoot that guy. What 
What the hell? Where'd you go, bro? I have no idea where this guy went. Wait. Whoa, where? Who's shooting? Everyone's just... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, we're getting good. Okay, so... Sorry. I'm trying to tone down the reaction so I can talk about the mechanics of the game. Now, the graphics are on Ultra. This is as good as the game is going to look. It's good as, as good as the game is going to play, playing at 144 hertz. Um, now, I am generally a good shot, so if you see me missing, it's generally because I'm awkward with the weapons, but... Again, you play these kind of games for the myriad of different kind of weapons, um, gun types, so I'm going to use a shotgun here. And there we go. As you can see, the net code is a little bit weird with uh, movement. You are going to see some things where you kind of kill each other at the same time a little bit. Nowhere near as much, I think, as normal Call of Duty, though. The net code could be a little bit better. You do get killed around corners a lot, kind of like a classic Battlefield, but I think that could be improved. It is beta, after all. It is beta, after all. Now, we're going to throw, like, a little... Oh, that is... Oh, that's a thing that's happening. Okay, in my face. Now we're going to switch around um, some different weapons. But we're going to have this more of a long-winded first look because I think this is a game that might be something you need to take a little bit more seriously. So we're going to play with this loadout. We're going to play around with it. Hopefully you guys can get to see that. I'm going to throw a flash over there, but try to kill the guy. Oh, okay. Try to kill if he's over there. And support my teammate with a pincer attack here. Hopefully this works out. And don't die. Cool. As you can see, the respawn um, or the healing mechanic takes a lot longer than normal Call of Duty. So this... You have to be way more tactical, which I think is another really big, just, okay, not a, it's, it's a really big small improvement, if that makes sense. Um, it's a thing that will change your gameplay. As you can see, I'm not just running to the next spot. I have to be a little bit more cautious, and this is going to change the entire flow of the game in a game, in a genre that's all about running and gunning. So, I don't think it's close enough for this. There's going to be a little bit of lag, I guess you could say. Not lag, but like, it takes a little bit to switch weapons as well. So the pace is slightly tuned. Somebody should be coming from the left, actually, I think. There we go. I was able to just pull true through the grenade. I'm not going to be able to survive this, I think. Oh, we actually had a nice little kill streak there. That was pretty good. Oh, kill streaks! That's a thing as well. Call of Duty, we got kill streaks. Let's go ahead and launch one of our things. Boom! Drone! Shot the drone. And, um, so we got this drone strike. So we're just going to try to do this. Ugh. You got to be pretty precise, unlike normally Call of Duty. What is this thing? I can't even use this yet. Oh, there we go. I have. Oh, I have a drone. Hello. Okay. That's the thing. There's lots of different kill streaks. Oh, shit. Did I just kill somebody? Oh, it, it's a turret. Oh, God. That's awesome. Dude, that's evil. So, yeah, very black opsy, modern warfare y kind of in between there ish sort of thing. Oh, what the hell? Is that a landmine? What the crap was that? I'm gonna throw this. I think someone's there. No one's there. Yeah, no one's there. Okay. A lot of people like to come from around there. Go ahead and get my shotgun out. Oh, the sound design also. That's something to talk about. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to really hear it, but sound design is... Oh, wow. The pre-fire. So yeah, there's me getting killed basically around the corner. Um, He was pre-firing. Oh, he had shadow advantage, I think. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. I don't know if you guys play shooters uh, competitively enough to realize that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I should, I should have realized he was going to come up and loop around me. Yeah, you do got to memorize the Call of Duty spawns. Call of Duty spawns can be awkward, but um, at the same time, there is some gamification with that. You know, a little bit of prediction of where they're going to spawn, moving around the map like that. It's just, you know, pugs. You know, pickup games. We're just jamming. The dynamic map gives me a little bit of cover from the right. A little bit. Um, but not if they come all right around that. So you see where the missile is actually coming out here? That actually blocks off that sight line a little bit. Of course, he ran around it, but, um, still, I wasn't going to be able to get, I wasn't going to be sniped. At least. All right, so we're going to go around the long way. I'm, I'm just assuming that somebody's going to be coming around here. We got my teammate to back me up as well. Hopefully we don't feed a double kill. And it looks like, uh, yep, nope, nope. They're running around, um, counterclockwise to us, so... There we go. Oh, wait, crap. I was, wait, where I was getting, oh, I was getting shot from over there. Yeah, that's kind of a tragedy. Now, you have to, you know, being a free-to-play game, you do have to unlock weapons and stuff. We'll talk about that, though. Absolutely. Don't worry. I'm sure you guys are already, you know, typing that. We're like, hey, is the game paid to win or something? We'll look at it. Uh, again, this isn't a review. This is just a first look, but still, we're gonna, you know, show off the game. Look it up. Hopefully, the gameplay is gonna be exemplary enough for you guys. I'm trying to talk and play at the same time and kind of just kind of describe it, but oh, that was my teammates. That's my teammates feetsies. I'm actually going to get up top. This gun's not really good for long range, but maybe we can uh, try to pop something off here. Get some get some damage ticks out there. Yeah, we did it. Okay, we did. We did some work, boys. I'm going to kind of crouch down and throw a flash. Maybe I can help out my team. And there we go. Okay, actually, we got the victory. Uh, what was our KD? Eden, NAF, and we had 19 kills. 
so that's okay. Uh, ping is, uh, if you watch the Battle Nonsense video, he kind of explains it. Basically, if you have bad ping, you can still kill people and you can still play the game, but it's gonna be awkward. But the awkward thing is that everyone else it actually suffers for your bad ping. Um, you know, you're gonna be getting killed around corners and stuff like that, and it just, that just sucks, dude. I don't like that. I do think that the netcode could be a little bit better, but overall, it's pretty competent, especially comparing it directly to Call of Duty, which has, in my opinion, garbage netcode, which is why I don't play it anymore. Same thing with a lot of console shooters. Um, this is actually fine. This is a fine starting point. As long as we get better from here, I am totes cool with it. So, all right, that was our first game. You got to see like some basic stuff. We're gonna change loadouts or we're gonna show off loadouts. Uh, there's different characters you can choose from. Hawk, Neil Wild, I think a lot of people are um, using right now. Um, Horus, this guy looks cool. Big Bear, cosmetics guys, cosmetics baby. It's not a hero shooter. It's still a uh, class-based shooter where you are going to be uh, changing out different loadouts. This time we're gonna try Sniper. I haven't played on Cloud9, so I don't know how it works. So basically I'm gonna suck. But hopefully you guys stand with me here. All right, here's the sniper rifle. Um, these are just preset loadouts. I'll show you the actual customization after this game. But um, yeah, I'm talking and playing in real time. I can tell you that it's working okay. This ping is 90 milliseconds. That's pretty ridiculous, but that's fine. Fine enough, I guess. There we go, 60. I would like I would like it 30, but we're just gonna have to roll with it. Performance is pretty good. You guys can see the FPS in the top left there. Hopefully you can. Dude, the maps are, are Call of Duty. Like there is no ifs, ands, or buts. All right, put play more there. And um, let's see, some enemies should be coming here. I'll put a little decoy, oh shit. Just, I'm gonna decoy. And then yeah, you're kind of stuck in that animation when you do that. My bad, okay. Um, yeah, you wanna throw a decoy and claymore, that spot. Let's see, this is a spawn, so I mean, I guess I could play more here, but just see what happens. I think claymores disappear though when you die, so that's something to keep in mind. Just, um, wait, can I go up the slide? Can you go down the slide? Oh my God, wait, really? Hell yes, dude! This is amazing. Yeah, footsteps are really clear, sound design's really clear, it's very distinct. Uh, maybe not the highest, super highest quality, but it's it's pretty freaking good. Like, it's not bad at all. I can't say it's bad. In fact, debatably, this is like AAA quality for a free-to-play. I think free-to-play could be AAA. Oh, he was in the corner there? Oh, but they're down there too? Oh, this is awkward. Uh, this is, oh my god, I'm... This is awkward, dude. I, I, I didn't know I went into a nest there. Um, so that, that's something that happened. My bad. I don't know why I'm trying to rush with a sniper, but, uh, I don't know what else to do. Okay, let's think. Let's use your brain. Brain blast. Okay. Uh, yep. Decoy. Super hype. Block the back here. And let's see what we can do. Seeing bad guys, I think. There it is. What is that? What is what is that little spider thing? That's not gonna kill me, is it? Oh, that's, that's a decoy? Oh, oh, holding breath, whoops. Oopsie poopsie. Oh, snapple dapple. Uh-oh. Eep. Uh, oh, uh, 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 um, um. oh, I got a, I got a hit though. I got a hit marker there. Okay, that was pretty intense. I think actually sniper's gonna be fine because it is objective based, so we can just kind of sit on it. Ooh, is somebody spawn camping us? All right. On this, I they know we're gonna come from here, but I got a sniper, so Ooh, whoops. got him. Oh, I, I thought I killed that guy, but I thought it was just a body. Oh my goodness, my bad, my bad. All right, I'm gonna get behind him, maybe. Uh, throw let's try this, maybe throw uh, throw this there so they can't come from above. All right, let's do this. Oh crap, from from all the directions. That's something that's gonna happen a lot. All the directions, man. A lot of flanking in this title. Yeah, get on the ground. I helped. Delegated that. Oh, oh! <laughs> Again, the flanks, okay. Okay, it's cool. Dude, sni sniping's hard in this game. It really is. It's something else, man. Oh my god, that's my first loss in this game ever. All right, so I knew, I probably kind of understood that was gonna happen. Oh, rounds, okay, I'm cool with that. Let's go. Let's go, okay, I got a sniper. Getting my snipes on. Oh, oh baby, feels good. Oh, I can't see through that. Can I shoot through that? I don't know. Oh no, okay, take, taking a lot of damage. I'm down for a little bit. Oh, oh, I can't see, things are happening. Okay, it's fine, all good. Nope, that's not good. That is not good at all. 
Ooh, can I stay in the pier and snipe? Can I jump snipe? Ooh, I can. Not that I'll hit anything, but I can do stuff and things. <laughs> okay, that's silly. Um, I actually might want to put this behind just in case. I don't know. Okay, so this should be a good map that I can snipe on. And nobody's going to come out. Oh, from, from the side, from the side. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff, man. Good stuff, team. Uh-oh. Heep, 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 heep. Look out for that drone, dude. Oh, God. Okay, he just got wrecked, man. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna chillax here. Gotta get some jump snipes. If I do it, if I do it, do I get thumbs up? I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Coming back out. Coming back out. Let's go. I'm not seeing them, guys. Let's let's get on the point, dudes. I'm trying to um, I'm trying to shoot some dudes, but I'm seeing actually nothing. I can't see on the point directly. So, oh, another sniper from where? From up top? I don't know what, how that missed. Just the pixels, dude. Hitting pixels is hard. Just click the heads, lol. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm clicking the pixels. Yo, guys, get on the point, man. I got that covering fire. I got that covering fire, man. Let's go. All right, I'm about to use I'm about to use this thing so we can take it. Actually, oh, snapple dapple, dude. I didn't see that guy. There it is. Oh, yeah, feels good. Oh, baby, double kill. Oh, oh, pop it off, man. Do it. Stand up. Oh, uh oh, don't want to die. All right, let's go. UAV recon. I got um whatever this thing is. I have no idea what this thing is. It looks cool though. I'm out of, I'm out of ammo. Hello? Oh, okay. Well, he's dead. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're you're gone. Oh yeah, dude. Now we're coming to life, man. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Uh yeah. Okay. Okay, this is happening. That, guy, that guy's holding down the fort. Oh, feels good, man. Good job, team. NAF going places. Feels it. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to feel the sniping. I'm I'm starting to feel it. All right. Let's get this one. Let's do it for the tubes. Do it for the tubes. Okay, just in case. Slap that down there. I'm just going to throw a decoy. And let's go ahead and get some sniping on. Same old, same old. We might switch around the... um. We might switch around some things. We might uh, try to be a little bit more aggressive. We can actually change uh, loadouts because this is going around, so we'll probably do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. Let's play a little bit more aggressive with the sniper. Try to show you that no scopage. Here we go. Here we go. Any day. Oh, what the hell? Okay, yeah. Change loadout. We're going to go with the SMG. And uh, we're just going to bolt through. We're just we're running through. We're not even aim down scope. Why do I have this uh, red dot sight? Not even going to use it. Let's go. Throwing the stun grenade. What do we got? Oh, this one's up top this time. So it is a little different. Oh, okay. That's fine. UAV recon. To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Got him, got him. More gonna follow behind me, I think. Yep, they're coming. Oh, the pre-fire. It's okay, because I'm, uh, I'm gonna pre-fire all over your face. I'm gonna come up from the top. Don't want to run too loud. The guy below me, not moving. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, 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 wait, wait. What's going on? Dang, that took some shots, dude. Time to kill is nice. And there it is. Easy does it. They couldn't even touch it. They couldn't even touch me, dudes. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. How, how long does this go? First, the three wins? All right, let's do it. Let's go, man. It's a sticky grenade. Oh, Snapple. Oh, whoa. Whoa, okay. I thought I had my teammate running around me. What, what, what was he doing? What? what? Did he, he's like, oh, hey, okay, you're doing this? Okay, then I'll just go somewhere else. I thought he was backing me up, man. Okay, making excuses. Anyways, I'm actually really good. When, when you see me, like, stop kind of critiquing the game or stop talking about the mechanics and we just start playing and reacting, that's when you know, like, you're having fun, dude. And, uh, whoa, what the fuck? Dude just came through a wall. Like I said, netcode could use a little bit of some mortgages. Holy shit. Don't want anybody coming around me. Oh! Uh, 
spawn invincibility. I think when they're yellow, they have spawn invincibility, so they all just respawn right there, so I was just... fucked. That's gonna happen, though, on objective game modes on a Call of Duty maps. It's fine, though. Ooh, ooh, what the hell? Get out of here, dude. And we killed each other. Okay. <sighs> it's fine. Um, I got- what is this- what is this thing? My number five? What the hell is this thing? Oh, I don't have it yet. There it is. Okay, I just threw it. I don't know what it is. It's a spider bomb. Oh, I got a kill? Wait, what? What even just happened? I did some stuff in things. I think it's a bomb. What is going on with that? I got some assists or something. Alright, just run and gun, dude. Run and gun. Let's go. Run and gun. Run and gun. Oh, wow, that actually works pretty well. Uh-oh. Sticky! Sticky! Uh, we killed each other, but this time it was because of sticky. I thought the sticky would happen faster. That's okay. Um, yeah, graphically, man, this, this game's pretty good looking, right? What do you guys think in the comments below? Let me know. I think it looks pretty good. Throw that. Just, uh, just spam, spam some stuff and things. I like, I like the reactive grenade that that guy just threw. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm dead. Okay, I'm not, because he sucked. Luck. I got an airstrike, I think. Oh, wait, is that a bat? Oh, that's a- oh, shh! I don't know how we killed each other. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm I'm pretty lucky this time. All right, what is this guy? A uh, six? We got an airstrike? Oh, baby. If this is me and that's that, then um, where is it gonna be? I need I need UAV. Oh, baby, let's go. Let's go. Did I get a kill? Am I getting kills? Oh! Getting some assists. Feels good, feels good. Give me some space. Ooh, guy behind me. Oh! Oh, I think we're gonna win it. I think that we're gonna do it, dude. So, my, my complaints, if I have any, um, the game needs to perform a little bit better in terms of netcode, a little bit better in, in terms of um, FPS. And then it'll be great. It'll be fantastic. It'll actually be really fun. Even though it's a clone, it's still just like, honestly, what's the competition? Like, in this space. It, you know, it, it ain't no Blacklight Retribution anymore. Um, and all the other games just aren't really, they're not proper clones, if that makes sense. This is a proper clone, done right. Um, and debatably goes back to the roots that Call of Duty should should be going back to. Um, you know, the boots on the ground, yeah, there's some tech in there, but, you know, boots on the ground, in your face, run and gun gameplay. So I think so. I think it's pretty good. So I'm gonna go back to the lobby. We're gonna look at loadouts. I'm gonna show that off. Let's go do that. Welcome to Ironside. Okay. So, you saw the gameplay. You know, Call of Duty, sure. Lots of different kill streaks and stuff. They're pretty fun. Um, there's more, actually, that we didn't get to show because I suck. So, um, yeah, you can change your character cosmetically. The loadouts, here we go. This is the loadout system. Uh, we have our... What is this? We also have skills. Um, this is also back to, like, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare sort of thing. So, nimble hands, quick switch, quick reload, quick aim. Um, basically, I think everything that you would expect. Literally, marathons in the game. Double time increases movement speed when aiming. Cool, cool, cool. I might want that for an SMG kind of build. Uh, feather steps removes the sound of your footsteps when walking. You know, all the, basically everything that's uh, in Call of Duty. I, I don't... What is Assassin? Increases melee weapons accuracy by 10 and extends the reach by 15%. I'm assuming that's the kind of automatic pull. You know, like Call of Duty has that like lunging thing. So this is... I don't think this is quite Commando, but there it is. Um, this this seems like a game made like, hey, we like Call of Duty. We want an actual good Call of Duty on PC that's free to play. Here we go. This is it. Uh, that's what it feels like in terms of the balance, the map design, all that good stuff. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at the weapons here. Uh, just see, let's see. We have permanent weapons. You can unlock those. I have my timed weapons. I guess I've got five days with this guy. So we also can, you have to buy them individual skins. So there is that. Um, but let's see, we got a couple different assault rifles, sniper rifles. Um, basically everything that you would expect. AK, you know, um, G36C. I always like the way this, this gun looks. Uh, what is this? The FAMAS, the FAMAS, whatever you call it. Um, AUG, yeah, all, all the weapons you expect, dude. All of them and probably more. Actually, holy crap, dude. Maybe a lot more. Dude, that's a lot of weapons, man. How many weapons is this? I guess when you have it just as a scroll, you know, you see like all those weapons. Um, Can somebody let me know? Is this more than the modern Call of Duty? This is pretty good. This is a pretty good selection. Maybe an overabundance of assault rifles, but then again, assault rifles are... They come in so many different shapes and forms and so do SMGs, so... Um, yeah, there's, there's a good selection. And it's free to play. I'm assuming they're going to consistently add on to it. New guns and stuff like that, especially since it's monetized. Oh, um, how expensive is it? That's something that we should look at. Not a proper review, but still, 
Um, I got some gold. I got 23,000. I've only played like five games. So let's say I want to buy a new um, LMG. I don't have an LMG class. So let's say I want this thing. How much does this cost? I guess it costs 20,000. So yeah, I can buy a weapon. I think it's time. It's not permanent though. If I want it permanent, can I? What is this? Buy? Repairable, 20,000. Uh, what is this? I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, so there's there's this repair mechanic. I'm not exactly sure how that ex works, but I'm gonna hit repairable. So you get it and then you have to repair your item, I guess, to keep it, kind of. So now it's in my, okay, now it's in my loadout. Um, Let's go with our loadout. Let's see, like, this, instead of the sniper, let's put um, the LMG on there. It says, yeah, so there's durability on the weapons. So you, you, you unlocked it, which is great. A lot of games, you don't even get to play with them until, you know, you eventually grind up the gold. Um, this, you do get to play with them, but to maintain it, you have to consistently kind of, I think, like, funnel into it and um, consistently, like, you know, actually, yeah, actually repair it. But I'm not sure how expensive that is. That's going to have to wait for the first impression or the full review. Um, but this game definitely warrants a uh, deeper look than that. So this is just a first look, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, you can also see the different skins for the different factions there. It looks like we got some daily contracts. It's probably going to be how we uh, actually grind up farm our stuff and yet your dailies as well there's a ranking system that's pretty cool here's our accounts so you can actually see how much i played average kda 1.3 hey that's uh okay for me i like a 2.0 clan here's the store what's in the store uh supply boxes you get a starter kit i don't know how much this is uh, again that's gonna be a first impression but this is gonna be the whole game and here's the storage so i guess we just yeah you have to actually click on these i don't like when games make you click it's kind of a divisive thing um, but yeah, use it. Yay, I get my stuff. It's in my inventory. Click it. It's like you're kind of opening up some boxes. Yay, uh, we get a supply box. Okay. So this is the kind of game that I think a lot of people were hungry for. Oh, wow. We literally... Okay. I got a I got a new cosmetic, I guess, for a couple days. This is the kind of game a lot of people were hungry for. A lot of people talking about it. Iron Sight. I'm glad I gave it a shot. And I'm glad I played more than just the first game. Uh, make sure you go into your settings. Fix all that. Uh, and make sure you give this game a proper shot. Now, I know... People uh, really, you know, Call of Duty is very polarizing, especially for PC players. But this game right here, despite its clone status, is actually a pretty legitimate and in terms of the PC, you know, ecosystem, really unique, I think. So give it a shot, Iron Sight. Uh, yes, that's just the first look. First impression coming soon and the full review as well. And if you guys want to see that, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and let me know in the comments below how I did, how I can improve, how I can make this better because I want that 100,000 subscribers. Let me know if I'm worth it or not. And if I'm not, then I'll try my best. But thanks guys so much for keeping that hype alive. Stay tuned for the streams. Make sure to click the bell for the tell and all that good stuff, subscribe because we do stream on the daily. We'll probably be playing this game. And if you guys want to join me because it's free, let's do it. It's an open beta. Jump in. Uh, our area Games is publishing, I think, a really cool title. So I'm liking it. Hope you guys are too. Much love. Hope you had fun. My name is Skylint. I'll see you in the next one.